Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, some operations that can be done with matrices. And um, in particular, we're going to look at the addition process, um, the scalar multiplication and the subtraction. So we're going to start off with matrix addition. Here we've got, for example, matrix A and B and they are defined with the exact size which is m times n matrix and to find the sum of the matrix the formula is given as such so here we've got uh, a plus b matrix a plus b and you will get the result given by this um, mathematical notation here and note that it is important for these two matrices here to be of the same size okay so if the size is different then the sum of it is going to be undefined well if you look at this um, mathematical expression here uh, what it means exactly is here we've got like matrix a uh, defined as m times n so maybe I can represent it as as such. So here we've got a11, a12, a1n, a21, a22, a2n, and maybe we got up to m1, am2, amn. So that is the representation of matrix A plus with matrix B. So B here is defined as this notation. So here we've got B11, B12. And again, we should have the same size. So here we have up to B1N. And then B21, B22, B2N. And of course, uh, we can assume it goes on until BM1, BM2, and BMN. So the process of adding a matrix is, is very easy. Basically, what you have to do is you're just going to focus on each element of A, I, J plus with the element of B, I, J. So basically, you're going to add up this element with this one. Uh, you will get um, the value that you should put for the position of uh, the new uh, matrix. Okay, so basically the result here is going to be, for example, at this first position here, it will be A11 plus B11. And it goes on. So, for example, this one here will be added up with this uh, element. So, the last um, element on this new matrix is A1N plus B1N. So, that's, that's the idea of, of this process given here. And of course, uh, if you look at this last element here, uh, this one will be add up with the last element in this matrix B. And so the result of this will be given at the uh, last position here on the new matrix. So here we've got AMN plus BMN. All right. Um, maybe it will be better if we look at the example given here. So here we've got like, Two matrices B is defined as this one and K is this one. This is actually a two by three matrix, so both are two by three matrix. And you are asked to find find the, the sum of B plus K. Well, here we've got uh, B plus K, which is equal to two five zero negative one four one. And then we're going to plus 6, negative 2, 3, negative 1, 5, and 2. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to focus on adding up, um, for example, 2 and 5, sorry, 2 and 6 together. And that will be put on this, in this first position here. So, so on this new matrix here, the results are going to have, again, 6 different places. Yeah, and so what we have is we have uh, the result of let's see, let me just choose this color then 2 with 6, so the result is going to be 8. Next, we're going to add up 5 with negative 2, so this is going to be 
3 5 plus negative 2 is 3 0 plus 3 this is going to be equal to 3 next we move on to the second line uh, negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2 4 plus 5 is 9 and finally 1 plus 2 is going to be equal to um, 3 so the new matrix here that we have is uh, again is, is, is a 2 by 3 matrix and these are the elements which correspond to uh, the sum of B plus K all right uh, let's move on to um, the next page uh, which is about the scalar multiplication here we have a matrix A and A is defined as such mm, this is our matrix A this is a M times N matrix and let's assume we have a scalar C and so if you want to multiply A by C the result of it is given uh, by this one here this mathematical expression here so basically what it says is if you have uh, C times with matrix A this is just a constant a scalar so here we've got C and matrix A is defined as M by N so you can imagine having elements such as A11 A12 A1N a21, A22, A2N and then you will continue until the, the, the last row which is the the mth row so here we have AM1, AM2 until AMN and basically um, the result here will be uh, uh, given by this one and it says that you're just going to uh, multiply each element in this matrix A with this corresponding um, constant here scalar. So the result here is going to look like this. C will be multiplied with A11. C is going to be multiplied with A12. And the rest of it uh, follows the same pattern. Okay. Right. So this is how it's going to look like. Okay, and of course for the last row we have this one okay so this is how um, we can apply the process of multiplying a matrix with a scalar and as an example here we have matrix B and you are asked to find um, C times B Therefore, uh, C times B is just 5 times with this matrix 2, 5, 0, negative 1, 4, 1. And mm, we're just going to, to multiply each element given here with this um, constant 5. Okay, so first position, 5 times 2 is 10. For the second position, 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 0 is 0. Next, negative 1 with 5. Uh, we have negative 5. 5 times 4, we have 20. 5 times 1, we have 5. So this is the result of uh, C uh, multiplied with matrix B. Okay. Right. Uh, let's move on to the next slide. Uh, and I'm going to talk about the matrix subtraction. And here, um, notice that we have this um, notation here, negative A, negative of a matrix. And when you view negative A, there, there is another way of seeing it, uh, which is uh, we can think of it as the result of multiplying negative 1 with matrix A, where negative 1 here can be considered as a um, scalar. Okay, that scalar C that you have seen in the uh, previous slide. Therefore, if you uh, want to, to find A minus B, uh, this is the same thing as viewing it as A plus um, negative 1 B. So you are just adding up two matrices. 
where the second matrix is actually um, have to be multiplied with negative one first. So that's another way of viewing the subtraction process. Okay, so now let's do some simple uh, example here. We have two matrices B and K. C is equal to five. So you asked to find the result of B minus C K. So here we have B minus C times with matrix K. This is equal to 250 negative 141. And you can view this process as um, plus scalar 5. Here we've got negative 1 for, for representing negative K. And then K here is 6, negative 2, 3, negative 1, 5, and 2. And I'm going to uh, consider solving this part first. So here we have 2, 5, 0, negative 1, 4, 1. And this part is easy to solve. You just need to consider the scalar here for and multiply that with each element in this matrix. So negative 5 times 6 is negative 30. Negative 5 times negative 2, 10. Negative 5 times 3, negative 15. Negative 5 times negative 1 is 5. Negative 5 times 5, negative 25. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. And uh, final result is going to, sorry, final result is going to consider the uh, matrix addition. So here we have 2 plus with negative 30, it's going to be negative 28. 5 plus with 10, that's going to be, um, sorry, 15. 0 plus negative 15, it's going to be negative 15. Negative 1 plus 5, it's going to be 4. 4 plus negative 25, this negative 21. And uh, 1 plus negative 10 is negative 9. So this is the result uh, that you should get for this example here. Mm. Alright, I think uh, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you um, in the next video.